Alright, today's subject is slap based posture. When I decided to shoot this video a couple of days ago, you know, I took some notes, I did my research, I wrote some stuff down, and then I saw the Scott Space Lessons did exactly the same video. I've seen Scott slapping the base before and I've always thought his slapping angle is like more like fleas and it's constraining. You cannot double thump with that technique. I also remember that with the workshop he did with Henrik Linder, he mentions that he cannot double thump. I always thought it was because of his slapping base angle. Now that he realized the constraining technique and corrected that, I think we will see some double thumbing from him as well. Anyways, here is my two cents about the subject. Let's say us flea slap base technique first. As we know, he slaps with an angle. He slaps the E and A strings mostly with this angle and plucks the D and G strings with his middle finger. Actually, not with his index finger, he plucks with his middle finger. He lowers down his bass quite a bit when he's playing standing up and he slaps with an angle. Wearing his bass that low when he's standing up and playing with an angle gives him a couple of advantages. Looks and comfort. I think if you wear your bass lower, especially with that rock genre, the cooler it looks. Also, Flea moves around and jumps around a lot when he plays live. If you've seen any Chili Peppers show live, you know what I'm talking about. Just look at this guy, he doesn't seem to get old. Chances are you will not play in a stage this big when you play live. Even if you do, I'm not sure many bass players can pull off that many movements, that many shenanigans when you play. So jumping around is not an option for most of us. So instead of shooting after this, I think what you need to follow is tone and versatility. Let's have a look at some pioneers of slap bass and analyze their technique. Of course, we will start with the great Larry Graham. Larry Graham plays with a downward stroke most of the time and in order to achieve that technique and tone, he keeps his thumb parallel to the strings. Yeah. Next, we will have a look at Lewis Johnson. Check out his ferocity and aggression when he plays slap bass. The tone is a die for as well. Yes, it's right, he slaps parallel to the strings. Next up is the great Stanley Clark. He pioneered the slap bass technique, he pioneered the bass guitar technique and bass guitar music and maybe jazz music in general and he slaps parallel. If we talk about slap bass, we have to mention two more names. Of course, Marcus Miller and Victor Wooten two of my biggest heroes. Let's start with Marcus Miller. He uses double thump, double plucks, regular slap bass. He uses all, the, all kinds of technique. Some people doesn't like his tone because maybe he cuts the mid range a little too much, but I think his tone is really great and we all can agree that he pioneered slap bass technique. Now, if you analyze Victor Wooten, he only double thumps. So in order to achieve his tone, he needs to keep his thumb parallel to the strings. The fleece technique is not wrong, of course. Let me show what I mean. If you do not keep your thumb parallel to the strings, you cannot double thump. Double thumping is moving across the strings and going up, all right? This technique. If you keep your thumb with an angle, like this, you cannot go downwards like this and double thump, all right? And also, if you slap with an angle, when you slap the higher strings, the NG strings especially, chances are you will hit the other strings, you will hit the lower strings as you play slap bass. It's a lot easier to slap those higher strings when you keep your thumb parallel to the strings. Flea mostly slaps E and A strings and plucks D and G strings, so he doesn't have to worry about that at all. So if you're not going to play Chili Peppers exclusively, I think we should adopt those virtuosos, those pioneers techniques in order to sound great. And also you can always play Chili Peppers type of music if you keep your thumb parallel to the strings. There is nothing preventing that. <laughs> 